Did you know the best darts players ever already no longer exist? They made history, that's for sure. But do darts fans know why they are no longer alive? At the end, we reveal something shocking. So keep watching. John Thomas Jockey Wilson, a Scottish professional darts player whose journey was both triumphant and marred by personal struggles. Born on March 22nd, 1950, Jockey Wilson became a prominent figure in the world of darts. He made his professional debut in 1979 and quickly ascended to the pinnacle of the game. In 1982, Wilson achieved the ultimate glory by winning the World Professional Darts Championship, showcasing his incredible skill and determination. He secured another championship title in 1989, firmly cementing his place among the sports elite. Wilson's dominance extended beyond the World Championships as he captured the British Professional Championship an astounding four times between 1981 and 1988, a testament to his exceptional abilities on the hockey. While Wilson's achievements on the dartboard were awe-inspiring, his offstage persona stood in stark contrast. With an ungainly appearance and a rough-hewn lifestyle, he seemed an unlikely contender for darts' greatness. Yet, it was precisely his unassuming nature that endeared him to fans and made him a formidable rival to players like Eric Bristow, Bob Anderson and John Lowe. Tragically, Wilson's life was plagued by health problems that ultimately cut short his career. In December 1995, he shocked the darting world by abruptly retiring from the game he had conquered. Following his retirement, Wilson withdrew from public life, seldom making appearances or granting interviews. It was a period of seclusion that left many wondering about his well-being. In November 2009, devastating news broke that Wilson had been diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD, a condition linked to his long-standing habit of heavy smoking. For four decades, he had been a dedicated smoker, consuming up to 50 cigarettes a day throughout most of his life. The toll of his smoking addiction finally caught up with him. On the somber evening of March 24th, 2012, just two days after celebrating his 62nd birthday, Jockey Wilson passed away at his home as Kirk Caldy. The darting community mourned the loss of one of its most iconic figures, and his funeral on April 2nd at Kirk Caldy Crematorium drew an estimated 400 mourners. Among those paying their respect were his rival Eric Bristow and sports presenter Helen Chamberlain. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. Andy Fordham, affectionately known as the Viking due to his imposing appearance on the hockey. While his darts prowess brought him great success, Fordham's later years were marred by health struggles that ultimately led to his untimely passing. On July 15th, 2021, at the age of just 59, Fordham succumbed to organ failure in a hospital. Despite his health battles, he had left an indelible mark on the sport. In 2004, Fordham reached the pinnacle of his career when he was crowned the world champion at the BDO World Championship, defeating Mervyn King in a thrilling final. However, Fordham's personal life was plagued by health issues. At one point, he weighed a staggering 31 stone and consumed 25 bottles of lager every day, which took a toll on his well-being. Nonetheless, he faced these battles with courage and determination, rarely showing the extent of his struggles to the public eye. In a poignant tribute, his devoted wife Jenny, who stood by his side until the end, declared, Andy was is and always will be my champion. Tragically, Fordham's health woes included contracting COVID-19 in January of the same year. In an emotional interview with The Sun, he tearfully disclosed the gravity of his situation. Doctors had warned him of the rapid progression of the disease and the severe consequences it could bring. It was an overwhelming and terrifying ordeal for Fordham as he feared being separated from his loved ones. He spoke candidly about his deepest fears, revealing, my biggest fear is waking up one morning, not being able to breathe and being placed in the back of an ambulance. Then not seeing my wife and children again. The virus forced him to confront the fragility of life and reflect on the things he cherished most. The thought of missing out on precious moments, like watching his grandchildren grow, weighed heavily on his mind. Eric John Bristow, aka the Crafty Cockney, born on April 25th, 1957, Bristow made a lasting impact on the sport, both through his exceptional skills and his larger-than-life personality. Bristow's achievements in the world of darts were nothing short of remarkable. He held the coveted world number one ranking by the World Darts Federation on a record-breaking five occasions, solidifying his position as one of the sport's greatest players. The years 1980, 1981, and 1983 to 1985 saw Bristow reigning supreme as the world's best. 
Furthermore, he secured five World Championship titles and five World Masters Championships, showcasing his remarkable consistency and dominance. Additionally, Bristow left an indelible mark on international competitions. He triumphed four times as World Cup Singles Champion and claimed victory twice in the prestigious News of the World Darts Championship. Bristow's prowess extended beyond individual events, with an impressive tally of 22 WDF and BDO major titles to his name. Alongside an astonishing 62 individual career titles, his contributions to team events were equally significant, with 20 titles won, resulting in a remarkable tally of 82 overall victories. Throughout the 1980s, Bristow's extraordinary talent and charismatic personality played a pivotal role in transforming darts into a worldwide spectator sport. His matches drew in countless fans, captivating by his skillful throws and fierce determination. In 1993, Bristow made another significant mark in darts history. Alongside 15 other top players, he departed from the British darts organisation, BDO, to establish their own organisation, which would later become the Professional Darts Corporation, PDC. This groundbreaking move helped pave the way for the professionalisation and commercialisation of the sport, leading to its unprecedented growth and popularity in subsequent years. Following his retirement from competitive darts in 2007, Bristow continued to contribute to the sport he loved. He transitioned into a role as a commentator and pundit for Sky Sports darts coverage, sharing his insights and expertise with fans around the world. His presence in the commentary box allowed his passion for darts to shine through, and his analysis enriched the viewing experience for countless supporters. Tragically, on April 5th, 2018, while attending a Premier League darts event at the Echo Arena in Liverpool, after finishing a match against VIPs at a promotion, event, he was making his way back to his car when he suddenly collapsed. Swiftly rushed to the hospital, it was announced that Bristow had suffered a heart attack. His death was announced during the match between Peter Wright and Daryl Gurney. Leighton Thomas Rees, a Welsh professional darts player who left an indelible mark on the sport. Born on January 17th, 1940, Rees rose to prominence as a pioneer in the world of darts, etching his name in history as the very first BDO World Professional Darts Champion. His triumph in the inaugural 1978 BDO BDO World Darts Championship catapulted him to the top, earning him the prestigious title and securing his place as a former world number one player. Throughout the 1970s, Reese showcased exceptional skills and sportsmanship, establishing himself as one of the most successful players of his era. His talent and dedication propelled him to the forefront of the dart scene, leaving a lasting impact on the sport. However, after a fruitful career spanning over two decades, Reese decided to retire from professional darts in 1991, bidding farewell to the competitive stage. In his later years, Reese faced health challenges that impacted his involvement in the sport. Following the installation of a pacemaker and a heart bypass operation, he had to step away from exhibition work. Despite these setbacks, his passion for darts endured and he made a poignant return to the world championship stage where he had once reigned supreme. In the year preceding his passing, Reese had the honour of conducting the draw for the event, reminding everyone of his enduring presence and contribution to the darts community. Sadly, Leighton Reese passed away in his hometown of Inisibul in 2000. 2003, at the age of 63, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire. His impact on the sport was so profound that it led to the naming of Leighton Reese Close in Inisible, a street paying homage to his remarkable achievements. In 2022, the World Seniors Darts Championship was launched. The tournament's trophy bears the name of four former world champions who have passed away, including Reese, alongside Wilson, Bristow, and Andy Fordham. Don't forget to hit the bullseye so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time.